Ladies and gentlemen, I am here today to talk to you about something near and dear to my heart, and that is the precious people out there who take the time to film your local bands. Uh, there's really nobody cooler than that person who stands there with a cell phone filming your set. That could be taken two ways. It's appreciated. Because what a lot of people don't understand is when you film a band, your biggest, most of the time, when you film a local band, your biggest audience for that video is going to be the band themselves. And I can, uh, I can attest to this because years down the road, I'll look up one of my old local bands and see if anybody posted videos or anything like that. And uh, I'm always impressed at how many I find. And uh, for instance, this hat was uh, made for me by Daryl's wife, Jessica. And it was back when we were in our band DWB, which is uh, stands for Dirty White Boys. Was it Dudes with Boners? Dimwitty Brainiacs? Don Will Break. The band name was Don Will Break. And she made this hat. And she would film a lot of our sets, and I always thought that was the coolest thing. But there are things that can ruin, maybe not ruin, but make a video less appealing. And... I've been on the receiving end of several of them, and I thought I'd go over the top five that I think could be worked on. Sorry, coconut's a handful. I thought I'd go over the top five things to kind of watch when you're recording a local band with a cell phone, because ultimately, cell phone videos are obviously not meant to be broadcast. They're more for nostalgic purposes, right? So, number five. I know so many people go to see a local band because they like the front man. Or he's he's usually the hot one, the one who wants to be out in front. Not in my bands, obviously. <sighs> Coconut again. So I know when people go see local bands, a lot of the times they go to see their friends, or they go to see the front man, who happens to be, most of the time, the hot one. Or front woman, especially. That's been a big thing around here lately. <laughs> and it's just fantastic. But... Don't focus on the front man the whole time. There's kind of nothing worse than being in a band and you're watching a video and you see the singer and that's all you see is the singer throughout that entire video. For instance, I've been uh, one of those people who has been filmed just the whole time and the video is pretty much just me and I always feel bad because my rest of the band's up there kicking butt with me. So I want to get them uh, on camera as well. So when you're filming a local band, please take the time. To try to equally distribute the camera a little bit. Pretty simple. I know this is going to come off as like, uh, you know, kind of being a jerk, but I promise you I'm not. However you film your bands locally, God bless you for doing it. Number four. This one, this one's kind of always been a peeve of mine. Don't cut the video off from the song you're filming or set you're filming until after the applause. Because... It's, it's almost like, get right to the point, you know? Right to the point, but you don't get there. I've, se I've had so many vid videos shot where, for instance, they just did. There's nothing that wraps them up in that nice bow. You know, sometimes you may stop the song and you'll just hear over in the background. You're one guy you brought with you at the bar clapping. Uh, but most of the time, there's a good smattering of applause. And if you're a local band and you're going to check out your own video, it's nice to hear that. It helps you remember the night, who all was there, and all that kind of thing. So just give it 10 more seconds in the song. Let some applause come through. Sounds kind of ridiculous, but it, it's it's like a P for a lot of my band friends. You know, we again we appreciate the videos, but uh, come on, we want to hear the applause too, right? Or the booze. We want to know when we suck. That's another big thing. You know, if the crowd boos me. I almost want to hear that more. Number three. Try to keep your focus on the band. You know, if you're filming the band, film the band, right? I know there's all kinds of interesting things going on while the band's playing. You may have. A couple over here that you, you're painting over to look at. You may see some friends of yours. You want to film them too. That's all well and good. But if you're filming for the band, you know if you want if you want this video to be seen by the band and to be appreciated and all that, film the band, right? 
and don't talk the whole time through it. That's like, that's what, you know, if you're, if you're filming somebody, don't be having your conversation the whole time. Just spend that three or four or five minutes filming the band. Try to be aware. This is another thing that nobody thinks about. Try to be aware when you're holding your cell phone of where the microphone is on your cell phone. Because some people will hold their cell phone like this and they'll have a, they'll have a finger over the mic. And so the whole band performance sounds like this. Yeah. So it's still cool that the video's there, but it's like, you can't hear what anybody's doing. The audio's kind of bleh. Cameras and microphones on phones are getting so much better, but the user error often happens where, you know, it's funny, I've seen videos of bands where you'll see somebody's finger right on the edge of the lens, like blocking up part of the lens. It happens. <laughs> so again, you know, we appreciate it, but I, these are just things I'm trying to make people aware of, and plus I think this is kind of a silly topic anyway. So, number one, number one thing to do when filming local bands, at least for me, turn the camera the right way. Please. Oh, it's so annoying. You look up your band on YouTube, and I, I get it, you pull up your phone, maybe it'll work on your phone okay but if you're watching a video on your phone you can turn your phone in the right direction because you know if you're filming a band your phone's gonna have more resolution in this direction anyway when it plays on a television or on YouTube or what have you uh, otherwise when we, you go to look up your band's video it's just this strip in the middle and you you know again it makes you it makes people I, I notice focus generally on one member of the band the whole time when you can get the whole band if you turn it that way so turn the camera the right way now all of this you know I don't really it's not really a big deal you know this is just kind of if you're filming a band you're doing a service for that band that you don't really understand because ninety percent of local bands that you film right now are gonna be broken up in five years roundabouts right so in five years, the only footage a lot of these guys are going to have, girls are going to have, is what you filmed. You're providing a service. And I'm just saying, there's nothing cooler than getting that video right. Nothing cooler than that. Finding a video on the internet you didn't even know that's shot pretty decent that you can share with your friends. Because a lot of times it'll keep you from sharing a video if your bike sounds like this or if the footage is real crappily shot. So, you know, don't focus on the front man the whole time. Don't cut off the video until after the applause. Don't talk the whole time. Don't cover the mic with your thumb or other fingers and turn the camera the right way. Pretty simple. Appreciate you guys watching. I know this is kind of a dumb video, but I'm feeling kind of dumb today. Thought I would share my thoughts on a subject that didn't need my thoughts shared on it. Thanks for watching. I will see you guys next time. Demo, they're free. Support your local scene. Thank you, Vital.